It's hard to believe, but we're roughly getting to the halfway point of many fantasy football leagues, depending on when your playoffs are. I'm joined now by Nick Goss. And Nick, now is the time to make moves if you want your team to be in the playoffs. So let's start with waiver wire targets for week six. In the wide receiver position, who are you looking at? Look at Sammy Coates. We've kind of been waiting for someone to step in the number two role at wide out for the Pittsburgh Steelers with Martavis Bryant out for the year with the suspension. Sammy Coates had six receptions for 139 yards and two touchdowns uh, last week. I think he's someone who can definitely take advantage of Ben's big arm, Ben Roethlisberger. So I think he's definitely a must-add this week. Okay, in terms of tight ends, it's been hard to find a reliable one. Who are you looking at in week six? Yeah, there hasn't been many uh, consistent tight ends this, this year, but a Hunter Henry, a rookie for the San Diego Chargers. Antonio Gates has been injured, battling an injury, and he's gotten more playing time. Henry has three straight games with 60 or more receiving yards, and he has touchdowns in back-to-back -back games. Not only would I pick him up, but I would start him in most leagues. My last question for you is Brian Hoyer has been solved, the Chicago Bears quarterback, for the past three weeks. He had 400 passing yards nearly in week five. Moving forward, is he a reliable guy? I think he can be. He does have some pretty good weapons. Uh, Eddie Royal and Alshon Jeffrey are two pretty good receivers. And when you look at quarterbacks, you want consistency. Three straight games to 300 or more yards, two touchdowns and zero interceptions in those games as well. That's pretty good. So I think Hoyer is definitely a guy you can add, even as, if he's been a career backup. I added him in one of my leagues. I was not disappointed. So those are three names to look out for. Good luck in your fantasy football leagues.